Hello everybody. We have in today a Land Rover Defender speedometer. The usual problem with the display losing pixels. So we've fitted our new cable to fix that problem. So an exact match of the original cable other than the backing card on ours being clear and the backing card I'll try and stretch that out on the original is white okay right when we fit the cable we want to line it up exactly exactly with the little connectors I don't know if the camera can pick that up. You might see the gold pins. So we line it up exact. Try not move it, just like I've managed there. And squeeze it in. Right, so we pushed it shut. And that's lined up. Now, there is a, a bit of movement to the left and right, so if you put it a millimetre to the left or the right, it's not going to work. So make sure you line it up bang on before you clamp up the connector. Okay, let's uh, test this. It's working good. Now, with Land Rovers, the autometer reading has a point on it. As you can see, this one has 108.2. Now, this always shows until the car has done over a hundred thousand then you lose the point. Now, when you're dismantling this speedo, be very careful removing this glass display. It has a double-sided sticky backing on it. Uh, we've taken it off now. But you can imagine when it's on, it's stuck on quite, quite well. So you want to very gently remove the display from the housing. Now we have to do the same as before, fit the cable into the wedge connector and line it up perfect. There we go.
Okay. Pins feed through the back. Like so. So like so and the more difficult bit is putting this ring back on. Now you can see we had to get a screwdriver and sort of bend the lip back enough to get it off. Uh, so basically that just slips back over. You turn the speedo over and you'll have to bend the lip back over. Okay guys, all repaired, thanks for watching.